So there are various ways of creating a design onto a fabric. And one of the things you can do is actually print off a design or draw it onto paper and then use it like a dress pattern. So you just put the uh, cut out shape down and just draw around it. Now, of course, there's a little squiggle there that's, you know, I've used this for, nearly used this for another design and it's got something drawn on it. That doesn't matter at all because when I make it up, that's going to be hidden anyway. So don't worry about anything around the edges. You can write notes, you can write um, what colours you're going to use, you can do anything you like, you can put little tags of colour around about if you want to. So you just draw it and then of course you can cut out the features. So here I'm just cutting out the cloud which is going to add the essential snow on our design and then that can just go over the top of it and just draw around it. So just lightly and don't worry if you get it if, it, if you do it wrong, because this will really not show at all once you've stitched it all and you've uh, decorated it like that. So that's how you can put the, um, the pattern onto your design. I realise that a unicorn is a pretty big ask for most people. I spent my entire life drawing horses, so I'm pretty picky about this unicorn. And I've had the um, you know consultation with the three-year-old in Spain and the six-year-old in Hong Kong and wherever. So you know they they all know what they want, and they all want this unicorn. So this has been a unanimous vote from I think. Um, three grandchildren so far so uh, but you could use any animal you could um, use the stag this is uh, from Weems Castle it's absolutely beautiful um, you could use the lion from one of our designs you know feel free to help yourself and leaves from everything those come from everywhere so just feel free but the added thing you need I think is a cloud so that you can have snow coming down onto the uh, animal and onto the hills. So thank you very much.